Riding a huge wave of momentum, Victor Henry with his ninth table, five by knockout, seven by submission. There you saw Josh Barnett with his charge. This is the American hopeful. If Ryzen makes the attempt to come into the English language market, it would almost behoove the, the direction for this man, Victor Henry, to come out victorious and go on to capture gold. But of course, the reason we love this sport is because it doesn't always go the way the storybook tells us it should. It goes the way the better fighter wants it to go. And that is the question, who's the better fighter? Victor Henry or Masahori Kanahar? Here's another wrinkle that I'll give you, but I'll do it after the introductions. Special one match, Now the importance of this fight in the bantamweight division does not overshadow the fact that these two have met before. It was June 2018. They met at a quintet fight night show that was in a grappling match. And Kanahora had the victory. He almost easily had the victory. Did it in about just under 10 minutes. So now the question remains, in a rising ring with MMA rules, who's the better fighter? Psychologically, you have to wonder if Kanahara has the advantage, but Victor Henry, riding a wave of momentum, knows what's in front of him. Let's watch this play out. So far, no telling movements from either fighter. Good side to side lateral movement from Henry Kanahara taking smaller steps forward. Longer jab there by the Patient is kind of If it isn't there, he'll go back to it. As long as if Henry picks up on it with an outside leg kick just above the knee. So the inside left kick wasn't there. I don't love the cerebral part of the game. Slight interaction with a body kick. There was a counter with a punch on the Overhand right kick. Missed wildly. So in the first half of round one, Henry has shown, there it is again, the, 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 the right hook, the swoop, the overhand right, he's going to be a weapon that he wants, and also the inside right hand, either to distract or to break down the base. Kanahara has displayed that he carries the left hand low and, and often actually drops it completely. We don't know if that's by design, push, kick, caught, release. 
Sensing the urgency, pushing off. Good block on the pass attempt there. We've seen a lot of really, really good uh, bottom position jujitsu tonight. A lot of really good uh, examples of stick to itiveness, staying with something and being patient. As here, Kanahori takes the back now. And now the sense of urgency really starts to come up. We saw it earlier in the night. One minute left. Uh, case with a half Nelson there. Some wrist control. Still neither fighter opting for these strikes in these positions because they're, they're going to be very low percentage. And now here they start to come. And they come from the bottom from Masahori Kanahora. Mixed martial arts veteran. As he advanced in his career, he chooses to go to a more violent and dangerous sports. Muay Thai, and now here in a rising MMA ring. Perhaps the most challenging of them all. Good patient work from Robo position. Kanahora locked in. Henry realizes he needs to dismantle that. Great block with the inside leg there. Perfect shot. So now the dilemma here for Henry is, as he tries to turn over and press his chest, is that he's going to take punishment on the way there. Thankfully for Henry, the round ends. As the veteran Kanahora returns to his corner, his wheels start to spin. There you see Josh Barnett giving some uh, wheels of his own to Victor Henry. Here's some highlights from the first round. Let's see what was established. The reach, the jab, setting up the distance, understanding what may be later. Then there's the first time we saw, and I liked it there, went, went low, lost it, and then went up high on it, and then off, not often used waist takedown. Because the momentum was already there, pushing with his body was Kanahora to get himself to this position where he scored and scored often and scored well. But if you're going to give this round to anyone, I think you have to give it to Masahori Kanahora. Seconds up, please. Round two. Here we go, the second round. Victor Henry in the black trunks, Masahori Kanahora in the yellow. Victor Henry, 32 years old. Kanahora, 37 years old. Caught in the corner is Kanahora now. Henry is able to block the shot nicely. Under hooks there. The longer arms of Kanahora are on display. Dipped out. Thought a right hand was coming. Pepper jab there by Henry. As he begins to move. Trying to cut off the ring. Left hook. But it opened up the door for Kanahora to slip out. Not so much a jab as it was a, a behind the neck class. Kick, right hand landed, right hand landed. Kanahora is down. This could be it, and that is it. The referee jumps right in. A big right hand caught Kanahora flush on the jaw. And the American, Victor Henry, is victorious and rising. And all of JMMA, perhaps, could not be happier. Wow! Big time knockout there by Henry. Nice to see for Josh Barnett as well. A big admirer of Josh for everything he's done with, with professional wrestling, as well as his dedication to this great sport. MMA. There you see the showmanship. Sometimes it's great. It's sportsmanship. 
keep this all coming back. Love to get to the highlights here. Here we go, right on cue. Looks like, bam, right there. Oh, man, you don't need me to tell you. And the second one, that might have been why, that might have been why. I become British all of a sudden. Nothing wrong with that, right? That may have been why the referee stepped in. That one was enough, but it's the second one there. And the hands going back and that far away look in the eye, not defending himself. I got to say, it's a good stoppage. It is a good stoppage. It, it appeared quick to me uh, on jump, you know, in, in real time. But as I see it again, that's why these the mixed martial arts referee is the hardest job in the world, and they do a great job. Heavy metal in Japan, what's up? I watched him fight when I was coming up. It's an honor to fight him. He's a legend, and everybody should give him a round of applause. え、今日の対戦相手金原選手は実は、え、私自身がこの格闘家として力をつけてくるこの道のりにおいて、ま、一人のヒーロー、英雄でありました。皆さんからぜひ、え、金原選手に拍手を届けてください。I've been in the rising ring twice now. The first time I ended it by submission. The second time knockout of a legend. Whose leg do I gotta hump in order to get a title shot? え、さて、え、自分にとってこの来人の戦い、え、今日がこれ2戦目だったんですね。え、1戦目はサブミッションで勝ちました。そして今日はま、TKOで、え、自分がずっとこう、ヒーローだと思ってきたその英雄だと思